What's up everyone? Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna start over the next uh, few weeks rolling out some content for you guys about how to improve your boxing skills and how to sort of come up as, uh, as much as you can even on your own. These are things that you can work on with or without a coach. I'm lucky that I have Mike but we're working together to help break these things down for you guys so that you can implement them for yourself and improve your boxing from wherever you are. So the first thing we're going to go over is the most fundamental punch in boxing, which is the jab. Imagine if you had a shoelace tied to your glove, okay, so your lead hand with your jab move in unison with your front foot. So a lot of people are throwing their jab and have no foot movement, no shoulder movement, no body rotation. So I like to start with showing guys moving their lead hand and their lead foot at the same time. This is gonna automatically generate body rotation. Second of all, it's gonna lead your hand back to your face for proper defense, okay? So like you've told me, the jab is used to get in and out of range. If you're in range already, to see exactly where you are, to kind of create a little bit of space between you and your opponent. So you need to be able to move with your jab. This is something you wanna practice, that analogy of having your glove tied to your shoelace, you know, have them tied together so that they move together. You need to work on that. And you can see our example right now of how you can work on it. Lead hand, we're gonna pretend that his shoelace is tied to his glove. So his lead hand, his front foot, we're gonna move in unison. With that, he's gonna rotate his body in and get his weight behind his punch. Good. Good, good, good. So if you notice what he's doing, he's rotating his shoulder in and that's gonna rotate his thumb down. We like to call that pouring a beer, turning your thumb down. Boom. The number, the number two mistake that we're gonna help you correct with your jab is the throwing of the jab in anything other than a straight line. Meaning, we see guys throwing, uh, throwing off the hip, coming out from the side, anything but a straight line. The shortest distance between two points is always a straight line, and where your hand should be when the punch starts is your face, so it should come straight off your face. Tell us a little bit more about how and why we can work on that. Uh, biggest mistake I see is guys will drop their hand. You never wanna drop your hands. Second thing is they'll remove their hand from their face. So the two of those is basically telegraphing your punch. Last thing you wanna do on boxing. Third thing is you're removing your hands away from your face. If I go to throw my jab, that's telling them I'm throwing my jab. Second of all, it's moving my defense away from my face, which leads me open, leaves me open for a counter punch or a big right hand. Rotating your shoulder, getting your body behind your punch, is it also turns into a defensive mode also. So once he throws his punch, He's rotated his shoulder, tucked his chin in. If I try to counter this with my right hand, he is completely defended right here, okay? Second thing is if I try to counter this and throw a hook, boom, he's got his right hand up protecting his face. There's no way he could get to his face right now. I can't go to this side, I can't go to this side. Perfect demonstration. The number three and final tip that we're gonna give you to improve your jab today is to make sure that you're synchronizing hip movement with the throwing of your jab. Tell us a little bit more about that. Uh, most common thing I like to teach guys is to rotate your body. There's no power in a jab, okay? So to generate power, speed, and the snap, so you get the best rotation you possibly can, and which, which leads into turning your shoulders and turning your hips. Also, it's gonna make me turn my toes in, and that's gonna generate my hip rotation and my shoulder rotation. So if you notice, once I rotate my shoulders in, it helps me rotate my shoulders out for two things. One, it brings my hand back to my face. Second thing, it starts my rotation for my right hand, okay? Very important. So you see this is a big problem with uh, a lot of guys who weight train a lot. When you're weight training in order to protect yourself, you're taught to keep a tight core. 
to keep yourself under control and in tension all the time so that you don't get hurt with a load on. Boxing is not a loaded sport in the sense of having an external weight on you. It's all about rhythm, counter movement, and power being generated through your own body. So loose. you're not loose. you're not using muscles per se uh, in the same sense as you would in weight training. This is something like I said, it's something that I have to work on extensively because I've trained myself so well to stay tight and controlled when I do weight training movements like a squat or etc. You're, you're tightening everything up when you do those things so you don't get hurt and so you can generate maximal power. But boxing's not like that. It's about the free flowing movement and uh, the rhythm of moving one part of your body in one way and another part in another in order to generate the force. So putting this hip rotation into play will completely change the fluidity, the power, and the, like, the elegance that you throw with if you can put it together correctly. So work on that next. Good. Keep your chin in. Good. Y'all can So guys, put these three tips into motion, work on them, and watch your jab improve today. We'll see you next time.